Last time on Dangan My Rumpa. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually. Seriously? You fucking lied again? Why is that surprising? Cough it up, Kokichi! Oh god. Oh man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. God damn it, Kokichi. I mean, Oma. The truth this time, right? I don't know. Let's just hook up his testicles to a car battery and he'll tell us the truth eventually. You and your fucking lies! Go sit in the corner and play with yourself! Yes, ma'am, and stop messaging me on Discord. God damn it. Okay, I'll start right now. Oh, God. All right. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? I don't know why, but Mew strikes me as, like, an elementary school teacher that boys fantasize about. She'd make an awesome elementary school teacher. All the boys are like, don't you think Miss Mew is hot? <laughs> I can just imagine being a parent-teacher interviews and just being like, damn. Mew, I can't hold it up anymore. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? <laughs> Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter since anyone could have done it. That's true. Don't you even understand something as basic as that, you filthy cum dumpster? <laughs> He's taking shots at every class trial. Cum dumpster! <laughs> finally! Someone finally called me a cum dumpster! Why are you getting off on that, you stupid bitch? What should we talk about now? Gonta, please don't pay attention to any of this. Get yourself a nice girl. Please, Gonta. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome, Kumas, to another Danger Up V3. You're here with Kuma. I was gonna play South Park, the fractured butthole, but it's not. Finished downloading, so I'm gonna get right back into Danger <laughs> I'm working like a machine ever since I came back from Japan. The previous trial was just like, what the f Yeah, it's... Uh, whatever, let's just get into it. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notification for the next video. I'm uploading Danganronpa Let's Plays on Fridays now religiously and sometimes Mondays, otherwise it's going to be a highlight clip on Monday, depending. So it used to be Danganronpa Mondays, now it's kind of Danganronpa Friday with either another Let's Play on Monday or a clip on Monday. So the Monday's still there, but it's kind of on Friday because I know you guys, you know, want to have something over the weekend. So I'm like, you know, fuck it, let's do it because I can't live stream yet. As soon as I can, I will let you guys know on Twitter, Discord, the community tab, all that. But if you want to, just make sure you follow my Twitch already. Link is in the description or the main page of the YouTube channel. All right, let's get started. A few days ago. Hey Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Oh, I remember this. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. My name is Rentaro and welcome to Jackass. Guess I should start from the beginning. Probably. That's the way it is. As always, the, you know, the vital piece of information is edited out. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. Obviously he didn't, because he's a prick. This killing game will continue until there are only two people left. So you don't have to kill everyone, you can kill everyone except one person. So you're telling me I can kill everyone except Marky and still get away with it? That works pretty well. Now the important part of that rule is that... Yeah, yeah. See, vital piece of information is uh, omitted. There is one more thing. Isn't there always? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first... Now I'm guessing this isn't our first killing game. And going by all the anyone flashbacks... Who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. And, er and going by all the previous, you know, flashback sequences with the things connected to the head and, you know, all the Metal Gear Solid references, I'm willing to put my money on that this is... might not necessarily be a VR simulation, but it is some sort of computer-related program. I know you might say, well, that's VR. Not necessarily. It might not be virtual reality. It might be something totally different. But with the amount of references to Metal Gear Solid in Chapter 1, 
and the amount of, you know, these flashback sequences, and at the end of every trial, they give us another hint as to something like this, I'm willing to bet that it has something to do with some sort of digital simulation using a computer of some sort. And if they go into nano machines, I'm just gonna be like, Kadaka, man. Like, for fuck's sake. So watch your back. Trust no one. This is like the ending of Scare Movie never 1. Never forget. Of course. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. And if you guys remember in the last video, because uh, one of the Kumas on the Discord linked me, <laughs> Death Race, the trailer, I was like, wait a minute. You wanted this killing game? What if you guys want this killing game because you're kind of already dead anyway, you know, like either on death row or, you know, only one of you can survive or something along those lines, it would make sense. I mean, why would you volunteer for a killing game? And if this is not your first killing game, why would you volunteer for a second one? Unless they're doing, you know, a battle royale, uh, not battle royale, but you know, the one that ripped it off, Hunger Games, where you volunteered on behalf of someone else. It could be something like that, but that that's the sort of thing I'm getting. No matter what. By the way, the new Saw movie, mwah, I should do a review on it in a reaction channel. That's what I'm feeling, so uh, still blind as a bat, but that's the vibes I'm getting. Live and let the Langyard world live. I don't even know what that word means. Don't even know what it means. Don't even really care. Okay, just tell me what it means. You guys are always good at that. The morning after the third class trial, after waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. You're not even going to give me the morning announcement? Damn it, you bastards. Uh, um... Good morning, everyone. <sighs> oh, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh Typical mute. Well, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. There's a dark moon in the air of the dining hall today. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> That's to be expected with what we've been through. I, you, you would think you'd kind of get used to the fact that people are going to die. In a situation like this. I mean, oh. I don't see how we all could possibly stay enthusiastic. Well, to be fair, I never liked Angie or Tenko. I mean, Shinguchi I wanted to spend free time with, but like at this point, you know. He did kind of uh, do the nasty in the love hotel, so. With two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonta will eat instead, Shuichi. Oh, eat you instead. Huh? He'll eat me? Don't you mean my breakfast? You know. Speaking of Gonta, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet. Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. Damn it, Mew, stop doing that. It's not sounding like you're sighing, it's sounding like you're moaning. Stop getting jealous, Marky, everyone gets a turn. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This atmosphere is heavy, everyone's really taking a mental beating. Hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all teenagers. I like that I'm getting compliments for my Himiko voice, because I know the VA said she was like drugged up on stuff the entire time. I think it was a painkiller or a cough medicine or something. And I'm just like, that is so per- When I heard her like voice, I'm like, wow, that sounds like you're on drugs the entire time. And so I was like, hey, yeah, did you the I'm a mage voice. I can do it now. It's so easy to do now. It's literally in my throat. It's like my Russian one is like, for Mother Russia. It's it's just there now. I've done it so much that it's just natural. Damn it, I'm becoming Nyko B at this point. Without the screaming, you know, because like I can't scream like that, I'll lose my throat. Hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're a oh, fuck. No, I'm supposed to read that. <clears throat> hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all teenagers. Huh? Hey Miko? Okay. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's cause you're so quiet that you feel down. And also cause we lost our drug dealer. And you knew where the pot was. Uh, Damn it, Mew! Hey! I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird? I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course I'm depressed. This is the most depressing I've been in all my 200 million years. Cause I'm a mage. You know like that mage in Warcraft, Chromie? She exists outside of time and space. She's a Doctor Who reference. But if you watch the Saving Chromie video, 
you have to save Chromie, even though she's being murdered in multiple points in her timeline. So it's more or less a Final Fantasy 13 situation, 13 2, where she's being murdered simultaneously in eight locations. And you have to go through time and space to save her, otherwise she's dead, you know. Because if she gets killed in one location, she's dead in all of them. But there's a time limit because, you know, they disrupted her ability to be able to warp through time and space. It's, it's really fun. Warcraft is full of references. What is this? 200 million years? But... Because I'm a mage. But being depressed won't help those who died to rest in peace. Tanko and Angie too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. Wow, she just fucking jumped. So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity and shaking like a vibrator. <laughs> or we can do a two-pack and cremate them and smoke their ashes. You know, that actually happens to two-pack. His closest friend said that he wanted them to smoke his ashes. And apparently they did. They smoked Tupac. Not smoking as in, you know, drive by, smoke that fool. I mean, like, literally smoke them. Gangster to the end. Step so, any. Oh, fuck it. So, anyway, please t take care of the new me. The me without the drugs. I'm coming down hard, man. I'm crashing. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're going full speed right out the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himika said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live. For the others' sake. Right? Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Huh? Game? Oh? Oh, isn't that what we were talking about? <laughs> oh, that's... Now that's... Wow. Ah, oh, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow. Wow, that was like foreshadowing and a half, wasn't it? Oh my, you shouldn't be saying shit like that in a death game. Like, the last time Tenko said, I'll see you guys after the thingy, she ended up dead. At this point, you're the next dead person. You're waving a death flag, man. And death flags it. See, now I know what a death flag is. I didn't know what a death flag was before Danganronpa. I'm learning all these new phrases. And like... I was in Japan and I said a few things and she's like, where the hell did you learn that? I'm like, oh, so you know what that means. And she just looked at me like this. She's a scary one, that one. You think Maki's scary? Jesus Christ, we went to Akihabara and she almost took out a girl's eye. She had her umbrella and this girl was dressed up as like a Lolita, you know, wearing the whole white thing. And it was raining. So what she did was while we were crossing, she was walking straight past this girl, and then she spun her umbrella and almost got the girl's eye. And I was like, okay, we're leaving Akihabara now. Scary girl. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else. Always messing around. You're still saying crap like that at a time like... Just then, the door to the dining hall burst open, and... Gonta? Ah, yeah, it's Gonta. This big problem! Everyone, this serious. How? Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Oh. That's a reference to that thing with walls, right? I should really watch that. Everyone was nuts about that anime a little while ago. I personally could never get into it. It, it, it just looks so stupid. I'm the type of guy that if everyone's into something, I don't want to get into it. Because it's mainstream. I'm like the original emo. Sort of thing. I got into Danganronpa because it wasn't mainstream, and now it's mainstream. Mm. Okay, maybe not that serious, but Gonzo went to Courtyard before coming here. Oh, I thought Gonzo had an erection for a minute and he was confused as to what's happening. Could it be... The graffiti? Was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Oh God, it's better not be a South Park situation. The... Huh? Ah, crap. The... Yeah, this world is something, something, something. Yeah, I'm almost certain that it's this world is. Is fine. This world is fine.
This world is fine. Damn it, I don't know if the last two things are two lines or one line. I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords or maybe this world. Wait. What about the world? What does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? I don't know. Hmm. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should just ignore it. Someone's just taking the piss. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you wanna die? Not really. Huh? What? Alright, that's just a habit of hers. But my heart skips a beat every time. Because? No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know... See, Marky's sense of humor is an acquired taste. <laughs> Fucking shit, I just, I just had a bad mental image. I'm not sharing it. I am not sharing it. I am not sharing it! No! I mean... There's one, the, 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 I say things that ha get my videos demonetized, but the thought that I had in my head just now would get me a community guideline strike. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe I should upload the uncensored version of this video on Pornhub or something. Maybe there it would be considered appropriate. I should start a Ninja Kuma Pornhub account. <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Maybe I should do live streams on Camp Girl websites as well. Everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe I should just play porn in the background or something while I'm streaming? That'd be hilarious. I mean, you've seen half the shit on YouTube, right? right. Watch the H3H3 video. You'll see uh, these girls making sandwiches with no bras on and, you know, doing jump rope with, like, no bra and with a bra, with a wet t-shirt. I'm like... And that's fully monetized, right? Fully monetized. You know, children can watch it at school. What is this, YouTube 2004 where, where I didn't discover Pornhub? Where there wasn't a Pornhub? And I had to watch skimpy videos on YouTube? <laughs> Fucking shit. So seriously, none of us here wrote it. This is a prank, you better speak up. But, but Gonta stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then they should have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. But it is in an obvious spot. It's the same rock we discovered three times ago. So, it's obvious. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Speaking of pranks, the Australian Defence Minister's Twitter account liked a bunch of gay porn posts. Okay, why is that weird, you may ask? Well, the Minister of Defence, you know, Security, Defence, whatever you want to call him, it's like, oh, that wasn't me, I was sleeping at the time. And then 7 News, you know, which is like the CNN of Australia, is like, this is a security crisis in Australia, you know. The government's account was compromised. I'm like, first of all, it's a Twitter account. Second of all, he probably left it logged in on his laptop at work or something, and a co-worker is taking the piss. Third of all, your Twitter account getting hacked is not an Australian security crisis. Unless you're storing government documents on Twitter. Which in itself would be a breach of security. I, I cannot take news outlets seriously anymore. I'm this close to not only, you know, doing the Ninja Kuma Reacts channel. And possibly a Ninja Kuma Vlog channel. But doing a Ninja Kuma view News channel. Where I give the real news. Uncensored. Because shit is just ridiculous these days. I'm not gonna do a Keemstar thing where I'm talking about Jake Paul and, you know, Beaver and whatever's, you know, the teenage pick of the week. But I'm talking about real news, the issues that matter. You know? I, I can't be doing four channels at once. Not with this shitty internet, where it takes me three to four hours to upload a ten minute video. I need my fiber optic. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Well, it could just be Gonta writing it since he was the first one to find Gonta it. Never do that. Gonta never do that. Gonta never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. 
What is that writing? I don't know. The world is fine. The world is fine. The world is mine. More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Maybe we should kill a few people. Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. No shit, Sherlock. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta wants to help, even a little. Tell Gonta if you need help with anything, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. No. Don't. You don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, Gonta learned lesson after insect meet and greet. Yeah. Boring. Uh oh. Oh, by the way, I got Danganronpa V3 and Danganronpa Reloaded stickers on my line account. I posted it on a me uh, Mino, but everyone's like, eh. <laughs> oh no, my ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Mmm, are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate real hard? Your face? It's always the same, isn't it? Never mind that, you guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Oh yeah, the next motive. Oh, what is it this time? You're cutting the weed supply? Right, you guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize. What? Oh yeah, Monodam committed suicide! I was like, which Monokuma died last time? Because I didn't edit the trial video yet. I'm like, which Monokuma's dead? And it's like, oh, just these two. And I'm just like, wait. But I thought Monodam would, you know, kill the other ones, not commit suicide. Poor guy. Eyes and shine, Earth sign. Huh? What's an Earth sign? Apparently an Earth sign is a bear, like Ursa Ring in Pokemon. Oh, my. Forgetting your catchphrase is like kiss of death for a mascot, you know? <laughs> Ah, because I'm a mascot. Get it? Not that. that wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, nothing. Hmm? By the way, who's this pink stuffed pig and why is she talking to me? Two. Is Monotaro, like, you know, messing with us right now? Or is he literally, like, that stupid? Monotaro's head is busted! One solid rock should make him remember! Actually, one solid whack will damage more brain cells. Ouch! Yeah, that's even worse. Uh, where am I? Where's Kaoru? Who the hell is Kaoru? What? Your character is completely different now. You tell me. Pops, my family, and you. Thank you for loving me. Great, they still are like a married couple. Come on, remember. And just beating him over the head with a fright. That was a joke that I made back in Danganronpa. And then they made a ninja kuma. And used a frying pan. Kadaka. At least let me voice the monokuma for fuck's sake. That's the least you could do. You bastard. Sigh. You're so adorably fascinating. I could watch them forever. No. I've had enough of them. Hey, hey. hey, give us some loving too. I want my reward already. Um. When did you get so friendly with Monokuma, Kokichi? Now, okay, okay. The prize this time is... What on earth? This stuff is worthless. A card key! Which just so happens to be the motive too! Is that the card key for the basement? Oh shit, son. Motive? Hey! Did you say motive? Why, you think they weren't gonna give you a motive this time? Yeah. Yeah, this mysterious card key is your next motive. Police. The classic carrot and stick approach. No one can work a carrot or a stick like daddy. 
Okay, Mono Funny is literally a fucking sugar baby. She will do anything for money. She went out with Monosuke for money, and now, you know, she'll do anything for daddy. You know, so he gives her the carrot, and then gives her the stick in the evening. Mono Funny, you're a whore and you know it. Huh? Screw your carrot and stick. Give me whips and chains all day. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but, you know, chains and whips excite me. You know... Card key is the motive. What does that even mean? Oh, you know what I love? I got a comment on one of my uh, World of Warcraft videos. It's like, the real question is, what's this guy doing with Fifty Shades of Grey on his uh, night mantle, whatever? I'm just like, you can always tell when it's someone's first video, right? You're giving me shit about Fifty Shades of Grey with, you know, qu quick access to all the erotica. But you're not giving me shit for the pedo bear with the YouTube hat. Or, you know, like, half of a vodka store. Like, that's probably Vladimir Putin's nightly, you know, liquor cabinet. Sorry, I'm just putting on some socks. Getting cold. I mean, you would think the pedo bear would be more controversial. Hmm. So, the new area you open with the card key, is that where the real motive is? Nah, it's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're curious? The real reason is giving us a key card. We no longer have weed. He wants us to get creative with the meth lab. Please wait. Now we shouldn't, if we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yoink! I'll take that card key then. Kokichi used his... elite body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do that! But that Monokuma motive! What if another murder happened? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know? Huh? What? Because... Because this is the killing game and we're the players, plain and simple. Oma is fucked this chapter, I can just tell. Any time a character like acts like this, they're fucked. Either that or they're the mastermind. No wait, not really, but... Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around. Quit screwing around, just give it to us. No way. No thanks. See ya! Oh, I love this music. What? Hey, wait up! Okichi ran out of the dining hall pursued by Kaito. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. <laughs> I wonder what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting! So long, farewell! I need another one of those, you know, like, love hotel things. Yeah? Huh? What's so long bear well mean? Damn it, Monotaro! You forgot that too? Come on, let's go. Is that something you can easily forget? You know, like your anniversary or your girlfriend's birth date? Wait! I'm a strategic bastard. You know how? My anniversary is one day before my birthday. That way, I can never forget it! That's what we call strategy! You can't forget your anniversary if it's a day before your birthday! That way, you get anniversary sex and birthday sex back to back! That's a pro tip from Kuma. It's my gift to you guys. And you girls, you girls can strategically place that too. I mean, it's not that difficult. You just put the guy in a situation where, you know, he's either got to, you know, be in a relationship or, like, you know, buy an ara. What should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. What? But aren't you curious about the flashback light too? Why am I saying so much about my private life? I'm so fucked. That's true. But then again, if you're watching this far into the series, like... You know so much shit about me that this is considered normal. So like, you know. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kikichi as well. well. That's a good idea. But let us look for Kikichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then... Right, in that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. <laughs> yeah, Shuichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. And single. 
Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. I was making a joke, Himiko, and now you've quite literally... Wow. Wow. Oh, I see. So Suichi gets that honor. Wow. Shuichi's so amazing. Gonta want to be useful to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat sheet. Maki, I fucking love you. Her sense of humor is just... Oh, my God. It's like Kadaka watched my Let's Play of Danganronpa 1 and 2. Knew what I like. I was like, oh, you like Mukura, but you like Kirigiri. Here you go, Kuma. You think Danganronpa 3 cannot be such a big coincidence? A ninja Kuma and a Maki. You fucking kidding me? You fucking kidding me? And Metal Gear Solid references everywhere? You fucking kidding me, Kadaka? You pretend not to speak English. I'm on to you. We can be friends, Kadaka. We can be friends. We can watch horror movies together. Why not? It wouldn't be weird, two guys watching horror movies together. It wouldn't be weird. Fucking hell, man. Too many coincidences. Okay, Gonta, hope time comes soon. No. It's either that, or both Kodaka and I have such similar personalities that we like the same things. Which in itself is even more creepy. It, it, it's like we both have a man crush on um, Hideo Kojima. Which would be hilarious. No, you should hope that it doesn't come. Not that I would, like, sleep with Hideo Kojima, but, like, I love his brain. It is just amazing. If you don't know who that is, you guys are missing out. Okay, where to begin? I'll search for a place to use those mysterious items. I like how I can't, like, destroy the entire dining room and talk to everyone. It's like, no, Kuma, you get too distracted. Fuck you. That's like, give me a break. Well, obviously the brush is going to be somewhere upstairs, and that stone is going to be... Wait, while I'm doing this, I might as well check where all the Monokuma locations are. One is in the basement of the stairwell. The other one is found in a dormitory by the stairs on the boys' side. The third one is on the ledge on the second floor of the main building looking over the main entranceway, and the fourth is in the ultimate Akito's room. Thank you. So, we can teleport, I'm guessing, to the second floor. Because I'm guessing the one... Well, but I never noticed um, anything near Angie's room. So let me go find where everything goes, and then we'll do that thing where I teleport. Here he is! Oh my god, he's so freaking cute! Look at him! I love Monokuma to bits. You guys do not understand how much I love Monokuma. You don't understand. So, like, did something end up happening with, you know... The bloody computer? I... Is that still a thing? Because we just discovered a computer, right? I don't remember there being any mysterious ob- Yeah, like... Are we gonna do anything with that thing? There's a giant Xbox just sitting there. I'm sure that's gonna come into play somewhere. I mean, let's be serious for a minute. And if we have access to this floor, it means there's something in this floor. Is it at the end of this hallway? No, it's not. Um... Angie? You had strange methods, but you rejected the killing game and wanted us to live in harmony. But all that was taken away for some stupid reason. I never knew you were a tour, but I will never forget you. I will probably forget her by the end of this episode. Why are they all in outside? What the hell is going on? I'm gonna get ambushed outside, aren't I? As soon as I can't teleport somewhere, it means there's an amp. The what? There is something here, then. Here, apparently. Or here. The what? Hanging scroll. Octobrush. What on earth? Wow. Okay. Naturally. A staircase it seems you can go upstairs from here. Really? Hmm. I always wondered what staircases were for. 
The fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? How many killing games do they expect? I mean, rounds. What? Did you just devil may cry me, bitch? You just devil may cried me. Kadaka, you bastard. Ultimate cosplayer thingy. Ultimate... This thing is Devil May Cry and a half. And she'd have got... I just got a tingle down my spine. Shirogane. Remember back in chapter one? Where, you know, you... Shinguchi's like, oh, you disappeared for a little while. And then your alibi was, oh, I was in the bathroom, right? And, uh... Your room's here on the fifth floor, right? And we've got ourselves a nice little Devil May Cry reference. I'm on to you. I've got my eye out for you. I might edit this part out. You know, to save it. But I've got a feeling that Shirogane is the mastermind. Seriously, you don't... Kadaka, man. You're, you're fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, Kadaka. Get out of my brain, Kadaka. It's, al it's almost like he's got shit in my room. This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? The door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? Suspicious my ass. Look at it. This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. Fucking hell, Kadaka. Hmm. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. That must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Wow, and why is your lab, like, amazing compared to everyone else's? I'm thrashing it. Fucking destroying it. I'm so disappointed with how plain most cosplayers are. Fucking disappointing. Oh, that was a Fate Stay Night costume, wasn't it? I noticed the saber thing anywhere. Seriously, Fate Stay Night is not a bad thing. All right, Shirogane, what do we have here? Even with all these materials and tools, it's if it's by myself, I say cosplay is fun to do with others, right? There's no point doing it by yourself. Do you want to try? Hey, Shuchi, we want to give it a try. Come on, try cosplaying with me. Yeah, nah. Huh? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel you're like part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? Another chill down my spine. Fucking knew it. This is some sort of fictional simulation computer shit, isn't it? And look at the swirls in her eyes. Fucking... How didn't I see it before? Oh, another chill down my spine. You bitch. If she turns out to be Junko or something like that, I'm gonna slap people. But, uh, but I'm investigating right oh, now. Right. Then let's do it together. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh. Okay. Right. Fucking chills down my spine. If Shirogana is like a fucking Junko personality in an AI, I'm gonna start. Oh my god. This is another set for photography. Yeah, it has quite the gothic feel. Nice. Bar set. This looks like a bar. Is this yeah. a set too? Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. 
Tamugi spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey, hey Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah. It seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> I used to make them a lot at my part-time job. Don't worry, it'll all be non-alcoholic, of course. Well, that's not fun. And then... Oh, okay, I'll take one. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, fucking... She's making a cocktail with that angle, shaking that thing. I'm judging. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Yeah, of course. She's making a cocktail. Huh? Uh, sure. You're good at this, aren't you? Oh yeah! Cocktail! Yeah, before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. Seriously? I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. You try to explain how I'm taking this out of context. You know what this is as well as I do. What? Exactly! What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. In my pants. Okay, it's ready! Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake. What kind of part-time job did she have anyways, mixing drinks like this? At this angle? Wow! Wow! So... So far, Oma has a death flag. Card key. Devil May Cry reference. More or less, Shirogane... Mastermind flag and a half. And then she pulls this shit. One hell of an episode. If I'm right, I fucking called her back in chapter one. I knew you were suspicious, Shirogane. Hey, I'm away. I've got cash packs. I was by myself in the bathroom taking a poop for 20 minutes. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm on to you. With those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drink Sumugi gave me and started blacking out. Shuichi. Thank you, come again. Okay. Yes, thank you, I'll be back. She fucking worked as a, what's it called, a hostess. And you know it. Wow, a Monokuma classroom. Mika wonders, is this a set for photo? There are a bunch of backdrops here, this is an incredible setup. How much, oh my god, workshop. A sewing machine and work help, perhaps a space to make and repair costumes. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Fucking, I'm out of here. Fucking hell, she gone. I fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. Fucking welcome to Devil May Cry and a half. Okay, I've got a little bit of a thing for, you know, structures and castles like this. Just a little bit. And the Monokuma angel and devil, oh my god. Even though the devil was an angel, archangel, and Lucifer translates to Lightbringer, Okay, whatever, whatever, what would I know, what would I know? I'd shiver down my- This is the fucking hallway at the end of Devil May Cry. Pillars this big in the middle of the room. There's a door right there. You see that circle? And he is supposed to be the throne and even the lights coming from the right side. This is a Devil May Cry reference right here. This is Devil May Cry 100%. It's sexy, I love it, but it's Devil May Cry. I'm not spoiling, we'll play Devil May Cry if you haven't played it. But if you play Devil May Cry 1, there's a HD remake on PlayStation 3. 
You get to the end, you'll know what I mean. I might have spoiled who the ending and Well, like, in the opening sequence, they say that, you know, Mundus is the antagonist, but... I'm not gonna spoil the ending sequence. But it's infamous. Oh, look! The door! Very similar to the one it- Fuck this shit. You better not die, you bitch. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Not exactly. Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there is no god. But then there's this. Is that coincidence or just Mordekuma's sense of humor? That is a very acquired taste. If I was a billionaire, I'd build one of these. My god, this looks like an ultimate lab. But whose lab right. is it? I should check inside to be sure. Surprise, Shuichi. Oh, Maki! What is this? This is one hell of an episode. That's true. This looks like your research lab. That's a very nice couch you have there. Uh, okay. Is that right? Well... Let's see what's in here. But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling? Haha. <laughs> the ultimate detective on the same floor as the fucking mastermind. I wonder. I'm destroying this place. What the fuck? Cuckoo clock. Cats. Chem chemical shell. Everything destructible is of little consequence. Hmm. There's a bunch of files online. It's almost like 50 of them. What are these files for? I picked up one and ran and huh? flipped through it. What? It contained photographs of murder scenes and the tricks the culprits used. Huh? What is this? I hurriedly looked through the other files and found that they were all you similar. It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. That's... It appears so. Well... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scenes. All of the cases seem feasible. Mm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. Oh wow, Shuich is getting fucked here. I'm kidding. Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Mark is a treat. Marky picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. Hmm, this file doesn't have any photographs, it's just drawn illustrations, huh? but... Illustrations? Marky began pulling file one after the other off the okay. shelf. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations. Uh, um... But why? Are the older ones just fictional? The first few files only have illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for this? I don't know. Maybe they're just like suggestions. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. What are these? It looks like poison. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet door and peered inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Then... In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally. What's the point? Even if we get rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary solution. A temporary solution. Well, it's not like someone needs freaking poison. They've got her lab just downstairs. She wants to make sure no one will use them. By the way. Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's poison for instantaneous deaths, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But this doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab. It's more like a criminal's lab. I see. Wait a minute. Cases. How many case files? 50. They wanted a killing game. Are they volunteers? Well, they said they're volunteers. But if those are the case files, what if those are the case files from the previous killing games? 50, not their first killing game. Five rounds? Mastermind's always discovered in the six, so there's five rounds. 50 of them, that means 10 killing games, right? There's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminals and detectives. 
Yeah, take a look. The top shelf is empty. Maybe the top shelf gets filled up with this killing game. It would make sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Two killing games per shelf. One, two, three, four, five. That's ten killing games so far plus our one. And this is chapter four. Chapter one and twos. Chapter three still isn't in the bookshelf. Fucking hell. Oh, I missed something. Hmm. Everything has to do with death. Well, this is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Okay. Yeah, I know. Mark is probably getting a hard on right now. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. And Mark is the cause of death. Oh my god. Do you want to die? Why are you upset all of a sudden? Do you want to die? Put a ring on that, Shuichi. Don't let that one get away. You'd kill me just for that? That's right. Now, I understand why Marky Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Damn it, Kaito, quick cock blocking. Kaito. Kaito, the fuck? With a face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up. Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up until now is amazing. Uh, okay. Oh, thanks. That's true. That's why you should be careful. Uh. Oh, what do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me? <coughs> wow. Don't worry about it. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. And considering you're friends with a freaking assassin, I think you're fine. Leave it to me. I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect the sidekick. I don't understand. What if I end up as a future culprit? Oh shit! <laughs> no, Marky, don't do that. Please, don't. Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. Ew. How can you believe in people so easily? Is an idiot. I believe in you. Huh? Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. And if you betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Marky Roll. Oh wow, you smooth talking son of a bitch! By the way. Why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Kaito is smooth as fuck. Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um... Couldn't find him, but he still has the motive keycard, right? Ah. Yeah, he should still have it, which means he's heading for the basement. There's a chance that Kokichi could have used the card key and gone yeah. somewhere. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's the fa uh, flashback light. Ah. Oh, you found one. Of course. I'm worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. What? Huh? I'm coming too? Oh. oh, wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, then I'll go ahead into the dining well... hall. You're not going to check this place? I believe in you. I'll let Shuichi handle it. You've got this, right, Shuichi? Uh, um... Yeah, right. Huh. And once you're done, come to the dining hall. Smooth motherfucker. <laughs> Smooth motherfucker. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. Maki! You never complain about Kaito's attitude. I guess you're really taken into being his sidekick. Wow. Would you like to leave? Hell yeah. Damn it, Shiroga. Do not be the next blackened, you stupid bitch. I hate you. <laughs> this door certainly matches the atmosphere of the floor. It doesn't look like it will open. I'll suppose it'll leave it for now. Damn it! All right, let's teleport. Instant transmission. I'm not liking where this is going. Oma's like, oh, I hope I don't die next. Mark is like, oh, what if I'm the blackened? Shirogana's like, oh, I'm so the freaking mastermind. Fucking hell! This better not play out like I think it's going to. I don't want Marky dead for fuck's sake. Kirigiri got to live, they killed Chiaki, and what, you gotta kill Maki now? Kadaka, you son of a bitch. You're doing that thing with the puppy, aren't you? You're giving me a puppy and then you're taking it away, because you're an asshole. I don't like you anymore. 
Don't do that to me. You can kill Himiko. I don't give a shit. Even less grass than last time. There's still maintenance going on. Hey! So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Hey. At the start, Monokuma said there were supposed to be facilities for us. Fuck all y'all! That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. Well... It's hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Monokuma was lying. He's an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um... Being? Well, he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic! Shuichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. Oh, uh, no, that's not what I meant. Damn it! But when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have a killing game? Oh my god. Okay, so... Uh... The thingy is in Tenko's room, right? So we've got the one in the center of the old... Oh! Oh, Ultimate Robot's room! We'll find him. Outside the detective's room on the fifth floor. Oh, really? Outside the detective... No, wait, that's chapter five. Whoops. Chapter four is in the basement of the stairwell. Okay, we'll go there later. Dormitories, boys' side, and inside Aikido. All right, gotcha. We'll go downstairs soon. Let's get the Monokuma sitting here, and then we'll go to the other. It's not cheating, I'm just getting the Monokuma look. Ah, damn it. I can't go to the Aikido hall. Hold on. What the hell's going on here? Where does the orb go, anyway? Gonta, what's up? Oh, wow, okay. Gonta. Hey! Show yourself. Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta. Hmm. Gonta, are you looking for Kikichi? Um, no, not Kikichi. Bugs are. Gonta see tiny bug. <coughs> Do not tell me it's a freaking nano machine. No mistake this time. I'll definitely fly by Gonta's hey, eyes. Bugs! Come out again. Gonta just want to talk. Tiny bugs again. I've just been talking about them for a while. I'm sure he's interested as the ultimate entomologist. But the memory of the insect meeting grade is still raw. <laughs> raw. Himiko, don't get so gloomy. Yeah. She's staring at Tenko's lab. I should leave hey, her alone. Shuichi. What is it, Shuichi? Don't stare at me so much. Were you looking at my fine ass? Or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, um... Oh, I see. Oh my god, she has a crush on Shuichi. Are you fucking kidding me? Is she embarrassed about something she said herself? Did I look like I was blushing? Huh? What? You're right. Before, no one could tell that I was blushing, right? Oh, that's right, I remember. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Oh, really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, I was just blushing. What? From your own compliment? Okay. Yeah, you look like a little embarrassed right now. <laughs> mm, okay, I'll keep at it. Himiko's really trying to change. Wow, she's trying to get Senpai to notice her. Holy shit. Um. Tenko. It's not embarrassing to express your feelings. It's only human. Himiko has changed, just like you wanted. She's not so lazy anymore. And she's given up pot. She's working hard, trying to live well. But, you exchange your life for that. It's not fair. Okay. What's going on here? Oh wow, Mew and Kit. God damn it. It sure is quieter now that no one's yapping a two of this or two of that anymore. I knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. I mean, if there really was a god, he'd obviously make me, the gorgeous girl genius, his chosen one. Ah, kooky fucking bitch. Mew is a treat. And Kibo's waiting for his next cleaning session, you hentai bastard. Mr. I'm not Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. We haven't come across Kikichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. If he's not in the courtyard, is he inside yeah. somewhere? Yeah, probably right, but apparently Kikichi is quite good at hide and seek. If he's serious about hiding from us, finding him may prove to be quite troublesome. <laughs> troublesome? What is it? Why do you look so surprised? Ah, uh, um, uh, no, it's not. Please tell me, you don't need to hesitate. After all, we're friends. Then... Well, I just thought perhaps a robot could find a human. Uh-oh. That's robophobia. Shuichi, you're not even trying to hide your robophobia anymore. What? Really? <gasps> anyway, Shuichi, 
That black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border? Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I didn't freaking know what to do. Where's the black object? That one? No, this one? Oh! Wow, I didn't even notice. Oh, wow, this is a Devil May Cry... Chapter 4 is freaking Devil May Cry and a half. If you make another reference, I swear to God. What's that sound? What? What? Um. The building just combined. What did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. God damn it! This video is getting demonetized for sure. Tell me about it. Man, Metal Gear Solid and freaking Devil May Cry. I'm dying here. I'm dying. Let's see where this goes. I'm positive that this strange building is an ultimate lab. From the machines and the sci-fi feel, I'll deduce this is Kibo's lab. All right. I'll check inside. But what happened if Kibo died before this? The hell? It looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. It looks like something out of bloody Star Wars. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. I'm destroying everything. Apparently, I can't destroy everything. You, what do you think? This is fucking awesome. Look at all these upgrade parts. You look so pretty with this, Kibo. I want to make lots of cute noises. Wait a minute. I want you to make lots of cute noises. <laughs> Please stop! Stop, don't mention that in front of Shuit. Well, it's only natural that bloody Mew's boyfriend would be a robot. But then again, she also has the hots for Shuichi, so. Is that something to be embarrassed about, Kibo? They're a perfect fit. Hmm. Whose lab is this? Huh? Isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that all right? But I imagine that a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. No, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? Right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Unfortunately. Even though I can only stare at it. So how can you prefer food? <laughs> at the very least, I'd like some kimonos in my lab and a porch with wind chimes. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about it. Okay. I finished investigating all the items this time. Kaido should be waiting in the dining hall. Oh, wow. They teleport me. I spoke with everyone and told them to gather at the dining hall. After a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Except Kokichi, of course, who's possibly downstairs. And as the ultimate detective, we're not smart enough to deduce that the key card right. opens up the card key door from the first chapter. It's not like we have any traumatic events down there that are possibly suppressed. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Oh. What about Kikichi? Yeah. Get about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. Mm -hmm. I guess he must be a real pro and hide and seek. Like Osama Bin Laden and Adolf Hitler. My magic. I magically looked all over the school, but he was no way to be found. What? Magically? Hmm. No one can find him, huh? Hey. He might have used the motive's keycard to enter a place we're unaware of. Yet all know of. They can't all be this fucking stupid, can they? Hmm. Do you think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. Huh. Next time I see him, I just gotta catch him and ask. Anyway, let's try out this flashback light. Uh-oh. Actually... But, I'm still uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay to use? You know, like Morty's mind blowers? No. Well, if we don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know? Right. So we got no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from this is our only clue. But Angie destroyed the last one, so it'll probably be confusing. Seriously? 
I agree with fish sticks over there. What are you, a gay fish? What did you say? Who are you calling a chunk of breaded fish? <laughs> For someone who looks like canned tuna, you make some pretty good comebacks. Oh wow, Emma has a thing for Himiko. Yeah. Who are you calling a wad of shredded fish? What was that? Wait, Yukichi? Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me. Thanks for the compliment. So why are all my merry friends gathered here? Well, we're discussing ways to torture you. Is that all right? First things first. What did you do with that card key? Ah. Oh, so you worried about that? Well, relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the card huh? key. You couldn't use it? Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up instead. Are you kidding me? I thought out of all people, this little shit would remember. But. You don't seem too disappointed about not being able to use it. I am disappointed, damn it. I wanted to use the card key. I smell another fucking lie. Cut it out. Whatever, talking to him's a waste of time. You know. We've got more important things to do. Morty's mind blowers. Ah. Oh yeah, the flashback light. Let me see that. Kaido doesn't have the balls to turn on the switch. Ah. Oh, of course I do. Egged on by Kukichi, Kaito thumbed the switch hard. Here we go! And once again, the world warped. Oh yeah! I'm not blinking. Alright, what did we see this time? The scene that flew by inside my consciousness, and what it all means. All at once, I... I remembered. Humanity should go to hell. What? Ah, the meteorites. What happened with the meteorites? Well, that's what happens when you resurrect Madara Uchiha. I remember TV news and the internet talking nonstop about those meteorites. What was that? There was a bunch of damage where I lived. People said it was only a matter of time. Okay. A researcher said that too. Similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... There was also a bunch of weird groups that started to show up in the streets. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. Well, it's obviously the Legion invasion from World of Warcraft. I'm going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, the world will end. <sighs> Those people were always handing out flies on the street corners. I clicked left click four times. I saw flyers all over the city too. They said mankind deserves damnation. I like that the only guy wearing a tank top has muscles. Tank tops are a privilege, not a right. Mankind deserves damnation. I remember seeing those posters, but Hold on! And those and the meteorites. What ended up happening with the meteorites? That's we haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down. Or maybe we're like under the Earth's surface. Or maybe we're in a computer program. Or someone's ass. What? Then what happened to the plan? What plan? The one the, uh, to save the world from meteorites. Could it be? Alright, I just remembered that. It was called the Gopher Project, right? It was the plan that all the countries of the world came up with to but... save humanity. I remember that too. But the Gopher Project. Didn't it fail? What? Huh? Is that true? That's true. That's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What's that mean? So, we can't remember anything past that again. Uh, okay. I can't remember either. I don't remember anything about the gopher. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Damn it, Mew. Huh? Mew? <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation. Fuck that. What the? The fuck's going on? We're already damned here. Wait, maybe we're part of Project Gopher, and now we need to initiate Project Rabbits. You know, like bunny rabbits. Now, we need to do this strategically. Since there's only a handful of us, we have to breed in such a way that we can breed two, three generations before our offspring start intersecting and breeding. So, we, we gotta plan this out carefully. Who's good with this shit? We gotta breed in such a way that we don't inbreed. You know. Like the British royal family, or the Rothschilds. 
Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is. The you losers part wasn't necessary. Ah! Shut up, I'm tired of this. Just let me out of here. Let us out. Come on, don't leave us in here. Pull us out. <laughs> Killing me, Mew. Seems like... She seems really upset. What happened? Mew, calm down. It's okay. Gonta will protect you. Gonta, don't offer your services to Mew. She might call upon you. In the end, the flashback light didn't help. It didn't connect to the other memories. That's probably because you're missing one. The ultimate hunt that was after us. The joint funeral. Maybe they just faked our deaths. You know? What better way to, you know, get people to stop looking for you than faking your death? Meteorites. The cult organization. The Gopher Project. How they're all connected. How do they relate to the Ultimate Academy? And what happened with those meteorites? Did they just stop? And where were the Evangelians? It'll be okay, Shuichi. Just a little more. Huh? What? See? We probably need one more. Everything will connect after we remember one more thing. One more thing. What is Kikichi? But... but I don't think I'd be surprised by the outcome of this situation. Like, if we were actually all dead and this was the afterlife. I said this back like a couple of chapters ago. But if this is the afterlife... Damn it. Huh? The afterlife? Always messing around. Why you? Quit saying stupid crap like that. Uh... It's not stupid. If meteorites can happen, then anything else can happen too. Because... Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that can't that we can't even fathom. Well, you know. That's why if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread or some weird technology. <laughs> or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. Yeah, yeah it's uh, science fiction. I thought our te theme was magic. Um... That's just your theme, Himiko. Seriously? Come on. That's just stupid. It's like the setting for some third-rate anime or game. Mm -hmm. You think I'm making this up? But then, how would you explain the flashback lights, Exisols, and even Monokuma? We may be used to it now, but that kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know? <laughs> Which means it wouldn't be too far-fetched if any of the things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up! Shut up. First of all, I'm only here... Shut up. First off, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. Oh, you're right. Sorry, my bad. What did I do? Uh, whatever. Just tell up so I can get out of here. Wait. Stop. You shouldn't think like that. About getting out of here. <sighs> Everyone seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> oh, you finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I'm learning every day. Hey! Oh, before we go, Gonta put manhole cover back how it was. Cause Gonta, gentlemen. If you want to challenge on the ground again, this time Gonta definitely. You're so dumb. Uh, no one's dumb enough to challenge that dumb again. Don't look down on hard work. Yeah. Himiko, you've really changed. Mm. Is what I'd like to say, but working hard at escaping from there is pointless. Like I thought. Well, no matter how much you've changed, of course you'd think that. I can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. I need to solve all of these mysteries. After our conversation, we return to our rooms. Let me guess, free time. Hmm? 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 If it's free time, that's the next video. Swear to God. It's no use. Damn it, I don't understand. What's going on here? But I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaede. I need to find the truth. What's happening to us? Why are we being forced to play this killing game? Anyway, I've got some time left today. I can't stay still. Not now. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you're gonna comment in regards to me calling it, make sure you do a spoiler tag. Star star spoiler alert, star star skip lines. That way anyone that reads it has to click the read more in order to see it. And you guys can discuss it that you finished the game. I'm not gonna read those comments until I finish the game. This, 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 the start of this chapter, Devil May Cry. Oma waving a death flag, Maki waving a blackened flag, Shirogane waving a I'm a fucking freaking mastermind with my eyes flag, and that bookshelf, maybe they're files of the previous killing games, and all this sort of stuff. So, a lot of theories in this video. I hope you enjoyed. Next one's obviously going to be a free time event video. 
it might be finishing up Omas or finishing up Himikos. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one, and then we get back to the storyline. So thanks for watching. As always, make sure you hit like, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get a notifi notification when the next video comes out. Danganronpa usually comes out on Fridays as well as Mondays, so I hope to see you then. Till then, Ninja Kuma out. Bye. Hey. Hey, do your robots have to? And there we go. There we go. No, they don't. They have a USB port. Hey. That smile and hair reminds me of something. She's like Oscar, but with less reddish hair. <laughs>